Hey there, today I want to share some settings that I always change on every new Mac I get. Let me show you how I do it and let's start with the dock. So I try to keep my dock quite minimal. So here you can see a few of the icons which are currently running on my Mac or the applications. And I basically don't keep any of the apps pinned inside my dock. So you can check that by right clicking on one of the applications. Then you can go here to the options. And if you have a check mark next to the keep in dock setting, this means that when you quit the application, the icon will still stay inside your dock. But for every single app which I use I have this setting turned off. The only two things which stay after a Mac restart are the finder as well as the bean icon. These are only two icons which I have inside my dock. Then I usually start applications using the command and space shortcut on the keyboard and this will basically launch the spotlight search. If you want to try this and if in case you also remove the launchpad as I did right here and if you want to revert that then you can just simply go to the finder here go to the applications and search for the launchpad now here you will just drag it inside your dock and this is how you get your launchpad icon back inside your dock now if we go here to the dock settings I try to keep my dock on a smaller size like this and then I also turn off the magnification I keep my dock at the bottom of the screen and for minimize window Windows, I use scale effect instead of genie effect which is enabled by default. Down below I also disable show suggested and recent apps in the dock and then I have enabled animate opening applications as well as show indicators for open applications. Now down below I try to keep my desktop minimal as well not only the dock so I pretty much disable the on desktop as well as on stage manager. Down below you can also see here that I also disabled the the widgets here. You can see here that this is a custom wallpaper on my Mac and this is one of the first things which I do on a new Mac. So I usually just go here to the settings, go here to the wallpaper and then you can see here some of the pre-installed wallpapers but usually I use my own wallpapers. You can check out this wallpaper and many others in the same wallpaper pack by clicking the first link in the video description below. And one really cool thing which I also do on my Mac but it actually isn't a setting but it's an app. App. It's called Loop App and you can also see how it actually can snap the windows just like this by just moving the mouse on the edge of the screen. This is basically the Loop App and it also has this radial menu and you can activate it by holding down the globe key and it's completely free open source app and this is what I basically use to snap the windows around my desktop. But if you want to enable widgets on your desktop you can just go here to the settings then navigate to the desktop and Dock, then make sure that you scroll down on the bottom and then make sure that you enable here show widgets and make sure that you also scroll up on the top under the desktop and stage manager settings and make sure that you enable show items and now we can just right click on your desktop and select here edit widgets now add a widget which you for example really really like like for example this one right here and then once you're done you can just click on done and you can see how the mac os actually changed the look of this widget you can also change it by going here to the settings make sure that you scroll down at the bottom until you see the widget options and make sure that you change the widget style from automatic to whatever you like you can go to the monochrome which currently is actually set and then you can also change to the full color which looks like this basically your personal preference so yeah let's move forward to the finder this is how i have it set up so here at the bottom you can see here the pad butter because i find the default look or the functionality of the finder quite useless if you want to also see this path bar you can go here to the view and make sure that you have enabled here show path bar and for me here it says hide path bar because I have this setting enabled then you can also enable toolbar here status bar as 
well. I usually have my items displayed in the finder as icons and then I also use the groups as well. If you go here to the settings you can also see here that for the tags I have pretty much every single tag here disabled. For the sidebar I have some of the settings like recents here, applications, desktop, documents and stuff like that. Then we have under the general so as example would be external disks as well as CDs, DVDs and iPods. So yeah this is pretty much the finder and now let's move on to the appearance settings. So I pretty much keep my Mac in the dark setting and I also have the accent color here set to the multicolor. Now I also have enabled here show scroll bars always and now let's move on to the menu bar. So for example here in the menu bar you won't see any of the percentage of the battery. Then if you want to enable the battery percentage you will go here to the settings and click on the control center. Then down below you will scroll down and here under the battery settings you will simply enable show percentage option and then on the menu bar you will also see the percentage. Now we can also move on to the next part which is actually right here for the Siri. You might be surprised but I actually don't use Siri on my Mac so this is why I keep it disabled under the Siri and Spotlight settings on my Mac. And for the Spotlight I pretty much have every single option here enabled. Now let's move on to the actual mouse. So if you update it to the macOS Sonoma here under the advanced settings of the mouse you will be able to actually disable the pointer acceleration which I think is actually quite huge for the gamers on the Mac but I think it's actually quite a few of you definitely less than on Windows. Now we can also move on to the trackpad. Now for the trackpad I pretty much have tracking speed set to somewhere here more on the fast side then for the click I keep it on the medium and here if you go to the scroll and zoom I have also disabled the natural scrolling. So if you scroll down with your fingers the content will go down as well on the page and if you scroll up the content on the page will go up as well so this is how my trackpad on my Mac is also set up and I think this is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't already, make sure to smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel as well and you can also check out this wallpaper pack, Breeze wallpaper pack by clicking the first link in the video description. Thank you again for watching, have an amazing rest of your day and you can also check out this video which I made about top 10 productivity apps on the Mac so make sure to click on it right now and I will see you guys in the next one.